your eyes ain't lying to you. That is a MS 200, not a T. MS 200, as you can see. It's got this goofy looking handle. It's a rear handle. You can find a 200 T all day long, but the 200 is pretty hard to find. And especially hard to find in good condition because a lot of these got beat up just like the T's did or do, still do. But this one is like new, as you can tell. It has very, very little wear. It's shiny still. Um, we're over here at Bell Hoppers. So I don't have the toolkit with me, but this thing came with the original toolkit and everything. Uh, I believe it had the original chain on it, but I'm not 100% sure it was safety chain. And I took that off and put a professional grade chain on it. I have not cut any wood with it. I figured I'd bring y'all along with me and show you. The saw is completely stocked. There's nothing done to it yet, but I do have some plans for it. Um, the air filter on these is quite a bit different too. The underneath the hood is quite a bit different if you've never seen underneath one of these. The air filter is quite a bit different. Um, the setup is quite a bit different, but and even the cover is quite a bit different on these um but yeah the saw is low hour it's like new it is a it was made in uh let's see march of 2010 so this is probably one of the last ones made i'm not 100 percent sure on when they uh stopped making these or the 200 but if you happen to know then uh, put that down in the comments for us and the rest for everybody else to, to find out. But uh, we're sporting a little 12 inch bar. I, th I think this is the original bar for this saw too. It's still got the made in Germany sticker or what's left of it on anyway. But uh, saw is bone cold. And uh, we're gonna lob this white oak limb off here. And when I get it lobbed off, we'll get you set up a little better and uh, make a few cookie cuts with it. And uh, like I say, this is my first cuts with this saw, so kind of anxious to see how it's going to do and how it's going to run. I haven't touched the carburetor on it either, so uh, we'll have to maybe see how it's adjusted and all. Um, if it needs any adjustments, we'll have to make those. But uh, anyway, I'll quit talking. I'll get to it. Uh, I'll just warm the saw up and uh, get at it. muffler modified because I don't think it's really going to do a whole lot of good. The saw is still like new anyway. It's I'm almost certain it's not even broke in yet.
smoky, but I don't think this saw has cut wood for a while. And it's very, cut very little wood. So I think it had a little oil residue in the muffler that's burning off. It's probably the first time it's been up to operating temperature in quite some time too, I'd say. Um, it's a nice light little saw. It's definitely stifled up. Definitely uh, is gonna need some help. But like I say, I got some plans in the works for this little thing. This is a saw that I've been on my, my bucket list for quite some time. Don't ask me why. I just think they're cool. Uh, I mostly prefer big saws, as y'all know. But uh, I got a little soft spot for little saws. With a little 242s and whatnot. But these, this one right here has been on the list for a while. So I'm really glad to add it to my collection here. And uh, yeah, y'all going to be seeing a lot more of this saw. Hopefully, um, I think I'm going to get the time in advance and muffler mod it. As y'all see, that really, in a few previous videos, that really wakes these things up a lot, these 200s. So, uh, yeah, that's what, uh, I believe that's what we're going to do to this one. Um, I think it's, uh, I really can't wait to get it done. Um, yeah, these things really, really like that. I've seen a lot of guys port these things and I've ported a few myself and I really haven't been impressed with anything that I've seen as far as a ported 200. Uh, it's a lot of trouble for not a lot of gain. I really think that you get a lot, I mean, you can, you can go through the trouble and cut the combustion chamber and up the compression a little bit, change the numbers a little bit. Yeah, you can and port match everything. And that really, that does help. But really, I think the thing that helps them most of all is just advancing that time and, and giving them a good muffler mod. Cause they're, as you can tell, they're really stifled up from the factory. And this one's still got the spark arrestor screen and it's not been touched. So I think that's what we're gonna do to this one. And uh, I think that should wake it up. Sorry, I was looking up in the air. I'm underneath a bunch of hardwood trees here there's some white oaks and some red oaks and uh i had some limbs fall and i didn't want to get hit in the head with one of them so it's making sure that i was in the safe zone there's a few uh there's a few hangers up there too from where uh we dropped this tree and so i was just making sure they wasn't falling too but anyway that's enough rambling guys i know y'all probably tired of hearing me ramble and talk uh, yeah, that's my newly acquired MS200. Hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, I really like this thing. Like I say, I can't wait to, to mod it and make it a much better little lemon saw for the collection. But, uh, got one more saw to show y'all, but, uh, want to make it a separate video. Uh, we hadn't put no content out in a while, as y'all know, so I'm sure y'all are going to be really surprised to see me but stay tuned for that it's another newly acquired saw it's actually the latest i've had this saw right here for about a month now and i uh, really hadn't had time to really get out and try it out so the saw that i'm going to show you in the next video it uh, i've had it for about two weeks now so anyway stay tuned for that uh, i'm sure you'll like it too and uh we'll have some plans for it as well we got some cool stuff coming up, so y'all, uh, hopefully y'all will uh, enjoy that. But anyway, y'all stay safe, be kind, treat everybody the way you want to be treated, and uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Drew's Creations, over and out.